We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter One, It Begins. Part One of Three. As I recall, the months leading up to when this all began weren't much to remember. My unit returned home earlier that year from our tour in Iraq. I had spent 365 on ground working as military intelligence. Our group came up with those playing cards you saw in the news, the 52 most wanted. I was a hard charge PFC back then, but that was the first tour. After our third, I was the tired and depressed sergeant. Nothing scared me back then. I didn't fear death or what might be on the other side if today was my last day. That was then, and this is now. I write this not really for anyone to read, but for my own sanity. Maybe if I go over it again from the beginning, it might make more sense to me. And then again, maybe not. I was 27 at the time and in my fourth year in college. I started my freshman year in 2001, almost eight years ago now. I remember the date as it was burned into my head. May 8th, 2009. Hey, Michael, where are you going? Uh, class. <laughs> did you study for the quiz today? <laughs> no, not really. Neither did I. Yeah, well, all right. Hey, are you going to the Omega party this weekend? It's going to be so awesome, and I, I thought you might want to go with uh, me. No, don't want to. But thanks, though. Why not? What, is it better to say, oh, okay, okay maybe well another time? Geez, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. I was direct. How's that being a jerk? Once you're done, um, go ahead and put your papers up here, and uh, you guys, you guys are free to go. What the hell? Did you hear that? You know, it's probably just the uh, the construction going on next door. Now, please, just that's not construction. Come on, take your seat. Hey, hey, you know, there's there's not going to be any makeups for this quiz if you go. I'm I remember seeing everyone gathered around the television. I expected a bombing or maybe even another attack on U.S. soil. Part of me was planning for the worst, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. going on? That's only like 20 miles from here. Do you think it's going to reach us? Hello? Michael, it's Lieutenant Angel. Where are you? I'm at school right now. What's going on? We need you to come to the unit right away. Is this about what's on the TV? I'm stuck in traffic, so I have no idea. I've just got a phone call from the commander, and now I'm calling you. How long till you can get here? Um, maybe 30 minutes, but I don't have my uniform. Don't worry about those. We have a couple spare in the unit. Just get there as fast as you can. All right, I'm on my way. What the hell do you want me to do? I'm, he's not moving in front of me either. Can't go anywhere, goddamn. Rip your ass out of that car. Fine. What the hell is that? The first time I saw him, I froze. Something inside me told me not to move. The group of them moved past my car to the man honking behind me. Their bodies were littered with scars and bruises, and their eyes were glazed over. The news made it sound like these were people gone mad, but the way they moved made me think that these may not be people at all. It seemed almost in slow motion the way they piled onto that honker's car. 
Within seconds, they shattered the glass and pulled him through the windshield. Like a pack of wild dogs, they tore him apart. I found my feet seconds later and pushed on the pedal as hard as I could, driving onto the grassy median. The escaping look of mortality on the man's face still haunts me today. drove up, I saw Lieutenant Angel, the tall, blonde, spoiled kid who just got out of officer school. A program tailored to turn men into leaders, but I had more command experience in my thumb than he had in his entire body. Angel, where the hell is everyone else? I was told they were on their way. I keep calling the commander, but he's not picking up. Wait, is that his truck? No, it's just Saul. What the hell happened to you? You look pale. You didn't see it? Weren't you on the 5 2? Someone please tell me what that was. I came off the 710. What Those was. things ran onto the freeway. You see that shit? They tore that car apart like a tin can. Poor angry bastard. I actually kind of feel sorry for him now. What the hell are you talking about? You have no idea what's going on. No, would somebody please explain to me? You're the one who called us in. Why don't you tell us? No one told me a thing. All they told me was to call my squad and get my ass down here right away. I heard about the rioters on the radio, but why the hell would they run under the freeway? Those were not rioters. They attacked a guy who was honking at me on the freeway. They weren't attacking him. They were eating him. They were what? I wasn't far behind Michael. They were taking big chunks and shoving them in their mouths. What? Why would they They were be- like animals, and they sure as hell weren't like us anymore. Not with those eyes. Then what were they? Zombies. Come on, Saul. This isn't the time. No joke, Sarge. What if they are? Think about it just for a second. Okay. Okay, The the mental hospital is not too far from here. What if what you saw was just a breakout? We were probably brought in just to take them down. Oh, you didn't see them. What the hell do you know? Hey, don't talk to me that way. I'm still an officer, and you're just still a lowly specialist. Hey, hey, easy, Angel. I got this. Saul, come here. Well, how can he say that shit? You know as well as I do that the hospital is like ten miles from here. There's no way they could ever... I agree. I agree. I don't think so either. I know he's a pain in the ass, and once he sees one of these things, he'll change his mind. But right now, we can't lose our heads. We still have a chain of command, and he is still in charge. I know. I'm sorry, Sarge. Saul was a great soldier. Sure, he always spoke his mind, and it often got him in trouble. If he'd held his tongue, he would have outranked me by now. He came to our unit with the rank of specialist from Mountain Division. I guess he got tired of the cold weather. We served overseas together, and when we got back, he transferred to our unit. And he said something about the California girls calling to him. Still no answer. Well, well, the rest may be stuck in traffic trying to get here. So what do we do? I don't know. Let's just wait till they get here. Lieutenant, you think we can get into the arms room and at least get a few rifles in case something happens? We can't. Why not? Look, I I have the key to the door, but the commander has the combo for the alarms and the key for the arms racks. You know, we're... We'll just wait for the commander. He will know what to do. That one was close. The way I see it, it's better safe than sorry. I say we open the door, clip the locks, and to hell with the alarm. I'll get the bolt cutters from the cage. Wait, I didn't say we were gonna... Look, sir, all due respect, but my instincts are a lot more field-tested than your month out of officer candidate school. I'm trying to help you out, and you're not playing ball. You're acting completely drastic. What you're asking me to do could really get us into trouble. You act as if we're at war. Yeah, do you hear that out there? That's exactly what it sounds like to me. Got him. You ready? Yeah, come on, let's open her up. You don't want to wait, like, five more minutes? The commander could just be around the corner. I don't want to wait for that ass. Listen, there's no point in arguing now. Saul, clip the locks on cages 12 and 14. Hurry. Now you're nervous all of a sudden? I just have a feeling is all. That we're in deep shit? I could have told you that. Ah. How long till the alarm goes off? Two minutes, more or less. Got it. Good, I'll grab your rifle. Just get 14 open. My rifle's number 17. 
When was the last time you oiled this thing? Just give it to me. 14's open. Load up two magazines. That's it? Yeah, yeah, we'll come back. I don't want to be here and loading magazines if or when someone responds to the alarm. Now you're worried. Head outside. Don't chamber around unless I say so. Got it, Sarge. How long did you say it had? We stood there watching the gate, waiting for someone to show up. After a minute or so, I started to think of what the consequences were for my actions. Did I jump the gun on this one? Would I get punished? Well, my thoughts of guilt and plea bargaining stopped once I heard the rumbling. You hear that? How can you hear anything over that alarm? It's getting closer. Come on, stop pulling... Uh... Guys? They're coming! Ah, shoot the ones dragging down the barbed wire! I'm trying, damn it! Wait! There's too many! Uh, they're on fire! She's not stopping! Aim Help. for the head! Somebody! Come on, Angel! What the hell are you doing? It's jammed! Yeah, no shit! They're over the fence! Is that the... Get inside! Where? The vault! Move it! Saul, what did you do? Saul, help us the door! We gotta go! Guys! Angel, give me your rifle! Let go! Just let go of it! I'm gonna fix it, alright? Alright! Hey, hey, look at me. I want you to take a deep breath and have a seat. How the hell are there so many? They're so fast! Those are what you saw on the freeway? <laughs> yeah, but there were only like seven of them. That was like a hundred. How the hell are we gonna get out of here? Take it easy, Saul. There's no need to get worked up. What do you mean, no need? What are we gonna do? Oh shit. Oh shit. I gotta call my girl. Tell her that... I'm surprised it's even working in here. Here. Let me try. The lines are flooded right now. Why don't you just take a seat and have a breather? Hey, I knew getting into the vault was a mistake. You wouldn't listen. I'm the officer here. Oh, fuck you, sir. Okay, if Michael hadn't, you wouldn't be here right now. I I'd love to see you try and open the door while those things are chasing you down. I saw how fast you were with your rifle. You about shit your pants. Don't you get it? They came because we opened it. They heard the alarm. We don't know that for sure. Maybe they just followed the road, or, or maybe- Think about it! You said they attacked the guy in the car behind you because he was honking. They must be attracted to loud sound. <laughs> so, you can understand them all of a sudden, huh? Well, maybe now you can step outside, you know, talk to them, and sort some of this shit out. Maybe you can just hey, shut hey, up that- it's enough, it's enough, Saul. He's right. He's what? No, no. It makes perfect sense. Why else would they come in here in such numbers and directly here? I caused them to come. You were right too, if that makes any difference. How so? One of those things that came over the fence. I swear one of them looked like the commander. Serious? No one else was coming. Well, no matter what we did, the longer we waited, the less time we would have had to prepare. Prepare? Prepare for what? Angel, how long until the alarm shuts off? I'm not sure exactly. Uh, an hour, I think. Why? Once it goes silent, they should go away. And then we can get the hell out of Dodge. All right, but then what? We don't even know what they are. I told you, man. They're zombies. You know what, Specialist? I... Wait, 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 easy. Both of you. He may be right. Maybe not exactly zombies, but there are similarities. Oh, no, not you too. Hey, military intelligence is my job. It's what I'm good at. You know, I've, I've encountered different tribes on my deployment, and the key to managing these situations is to know who you're dealing with. Military intelligence. <laughs> I am the one who figured out about the sound thing. Yeah, well, none of that matters now. What else do we know? We know they go after people. They sure as hell aren't no slow-moving zombies, either. So they're quicker than us. Got some strength, too. The way they were bending the bars. Wonderful. Headshots seem to drop them like stones. Is that all we know? Yeah, well, the rest would just be assumptions based on what we've seen in movies. I still don't believe this. Are you listening to what you're saying? Zombies? I mean, the dead rising? Who said they were dead? Whatever! What would you have me do? We're dealing with something we've never come close to experiencing before. All I'm trying to do is reason some way through this. Something they aren't able to do. Now who's being presumptuous? How can you be sure that they can't reason? Because we left the key in the door. All right, if we're gonna make it through this, and I have every intention of doing so, we're gonna have to stick together and use our heads. Whoa, that was no hour. Well, I said I think. No one has ever set off the alarm before. So, 
Look at the people. They're leaving? Um, no, I don't think so. Maybe it'll just take some time. You sure they can't hear us? Not a chance. The door is about a foot thick and the walls are solid concrete. Give it time. They... They could move on. All right, well, say they clear out enough for us to get through. Where do we go? We couldn't just stay here and defend this place? No, they're able to climb over the walls and come from any direction around the base. Not to mention every building has like four or five entrances. There's only three of us. You need... some place... like a prison. Good idea, but not the best place for living. Well, we would be able to contain the area pretty easily. I could probably get by in a cell. I know you could, too. This isn't just about us. It's not? Look, there are a lot of people out there who are where we are now. Locking themselves in some safe place. Waiting things out. Hoping that someone is going to come rescue them. Like the army. But we know that's not going to happen. At least not with our unit. There are no active military stations around here, and there's a lot of people out there that need our help. Don't you feel a little responsible to them? Nope. Not at all. Nah, just kidding. My girlfriend's apartment building. See? Now, ha! He's got the right idea. Go out with a bang! That's not what I... Michael, it's perfect. One main lobby with a small stairwell. We could turn off the elevators. That gives us a very small area to contain as the entrance. We could manage it with three people. Best of all, the parking garage has a security gate that we can seal off from anyone getting in. That could work. Plenty of space for any other survivors, not to mention the amount of supplies throughout the building. Given that we could make it there in one piece. It's not too far from here. It'll work. Depending on how long we're going to hold up, it would last us. This could just be a, a local epidemic. No, given the rate of growth, I highly doubt it. How do you expect to make it to the building? Like, the roads are probably jammed with broken down cars and God knows what else. We'll take one of the Humvees. You won't get too far with the steering wheels chained and locked. You'll only be able to turn like halfway. Then clip the lock with the bolt cutters. <laughs> so we run out of here, fight through zombies that are... Let me check. Yep, still outside the door, carrying ammo, rifles, and bolt cutters all the way to the motor pool, being chased by the things that we know are faster and stronger than us and want to eat us. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, as long as I get the saw, I'm in. Fine. We'll need an automatic weapon anyway. Angel and I can carry an extra rifle, but any more would really slow us down. Here, put these on. Do we really need to wear uniforms? You wear this, and people will know who you are and won't think twice about coming with you. There's a lot that this uniform represents that we will need out there. Hey, he's right, Saul. Come on, let's put him on. All right. We can do this. To find out more or become a sponsor, visit www.thezombiepodcast.com or free on the iTunes store, keyword, We're Alive. Starring Jim Gleason, Nate Gies, Shane Salk, Featuring Michael Swan. Written and directed by Casey Wayland. Associate producer Jason Scott. Print editor Blythe Hill. Composers Katie Wayland and Ron Gallagher. Producer Shane Salk. Casey Wayland. This has been a Wayland production. This has been. Hello and welcome to We're Alive's uh, special live stream show, Apartment 2C. I'm your host and will be your host, hopefully the entire series. Uh, <laughs> Tony Red, my name, and I am, of course, joined by uh, Casey Wayland and Grayson Stone. Howdy, 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 howdy. We're here. We yes, made it. we <laughs> made it. We made it. We have uh, we have done some uh, some technical rehearsals. You might yeah. be able to see them on our YouTube channel. You still. might have heard the second episode yeah. third when <laughs> the first one should have gone. That was my bad. Uh, um, actually, I'm going to blame the iPad. You know what? Here's the thing. Thank God it was Casey that made that mistake because if it was any <laughs> other of We'd us, we'd be fired. The we'd show be, be over. We'd be killed. <laughs> I would have. A bullet in the leg right now. I'm well, that not does, that, that mean. Kill you. 
Listen, let me tell you, KC drives a tar chip. Anyway, moving <laughs> a on. Tar chip? A tar chip? A TARDIS. A TARDIS. <laughs> Doctor Who fans out thank there, we're, we're crossing yes. genres. TARDIS. Uh, thank you all for watching. We do have some viewers. If you have any questions at any point during the show, this is a uh, an engaging show. We're going to be taking questions live on the air. We hope so it's engaging. We hope it's engaging. <laughs> so bring your questions. We want to hear from you. Uh, go ahead. We have a team behind the cameras working steadily and hard to make sure to gather your questions. We have two people, yeah. and they're not working that hard. They're, I mean, you know. You know. Who are they? What are their names? We, we've got Rolo back there. Well, I have, by the way, I have nicknamed the crew members, so you'll never know what their actual name is. Uh, I will see to it that they n get no credit for their job here. Uh, <laughs> zero That's credit. Yeah, so yeah, we, uh, we uh, have uh, got, we have got uh, uh, our, our one crew member named Rolo. Yeah. R-O-L-O. -O. I'm not even spelling like the candy. it. Yeah, it's like the candy. Rolo, because he's sweet. It's not like Rolo Tomasi. He does exist. Nope. Uh, it, this is like the this is like the candy. Rolo. And then, of course, working cams, we've got Nightcat. See? See, she's got we the... We need, like, a soundboard. Yeah, she can, you know what? You know what? She can actually... She actually has a mic. Yeah. Night, Nightcat has a mic. Night, Nightcat, say hello to the people on the stream, please. Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks there. for joining us for Apartment 2C. Look at that. Yeah, we're Night not lying. Cat. <laughs> we, there are girls attached to the show. Nightcat <laughs> is back there. And she's super smooth, too. She's got a voice for radio. She, a not face bad. for radio, too. Isn't that a phrase? No. <laughs> Thanks. That's messed up. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, messed up. Well, I think we got a vacancy on the uh, well, yep. <laughs> All right, so I mean, there's a reason she's the behind the camera. Show, That's, uh, I'll never be back. Uh, so what you guys just heard is is kind of the uh, the setup and the flow of what we're going to be doing every single week here at 7:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to start uh, a live stream, and you'll get to hear a new episode of We're Live every single week. After that episode, we're going to be right here on set every Tuesday night. We're gonna have guests from the guests from the show. Uh, Casey will be here most nights. Grayson will be here every single night, um, most likely on and off camera. Yep. He's just he, Grayson. You're like a little, you know, you got your hands in all the jars. <laughs> he's a producer. He's a producer of the show, and they, I, the it, cookie, it, all the cookie jars, all, all the, the cookie, cookie jars. jars, all of them. Yeah. I was he, actually gonna bring Girl Scout cookies as, for all of us, and I completely forgot. He got so. a flat tire, so hey, somehow man. that equates to not bringing cookies hey get the hell out of here <laughs> okay and go get me my cookies what are you doing that is that is payment for me damn it <laughs> yeah. anyway i was also gonna I'll, bring a real nice sandwich too all too. right we're gonna be talking about our sandwich obsessions i'm sure at some point on this show but uh like i was saying we're gonna be discussing <laughs> every single episode every week with guests from the show we're gonna be doing giveaways yep. We're going to have uh, little tidbits of information that you've never known before about the show. That's why Casey, we've got some, we've got some bombs dropping tonight. We're going to be bringing you updates from production on the, uh, on the next project that we've got coming up. So big news, stay tuned uh, at the end of the show. And also doing question, questions and answers, featuring fan art. I mean, we've yep. got all kinds of stuff going on with this live show. And you never know. There might be stuff going on in the background that you don't know that might be plants for things. In the background. Um, so I'll be, 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 be observant because we can, we can change any aspect of this show at any time. Yeah, we've got uh, a Sort cool of stuff. like, I love hiding things. So if you can find a, play, a way to hide something, then uh, it'll... It'll be there. You guys chose to hide it in bright yellow chalk. That's right. It's Hashtag well APT2C. That's nothing hidden. For sure, uh, tweet at us. Hashtag Apartment2C. Put it on Facebook. Let your, let your friends know. This is a great time to start listening to We're Alive. We're really trying to bring We're Alive to the YouTube community because you need a zombie podcast <clears throat> on YouTube. That's just... That's, you need it. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna be really, really uh, very careful about spoilers. Yeah, good point, we, Casey. We don't want to. We don't want to have anybody who has not visited the series before get spoiled with something. So please keep spoilers out of the comments if you can. Um, and we'll do our best on our end to make sure that we don't get any questions that are gonna spoil it. But if there is something that's going to be very important for an episode coming up, and we like make note of it, that that will happen. But we won't spoil anything. If the, if anyone posts spoilers. Uh, Rolo and Nightcat will personally <laughs> drive to your house and break both of your legs. Or delete the comment, whatever comes first. 
or delete the comment. I'm pretty I mean, sure it's I'm a more lot of a fan easier of, to break legs. Thank you. Yeah. It's much easier to. I mean, with break YouTube. Break legs or break links. <laughs> oh man, just I can't wait for this whole season <laughs> to go by <laughs> and all of the bad dad jokes that KC is going to bring to this. I set am totally entitled to do because KC is now a proud father. Congratulations. <laughs> this yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, as of uh, as of January first, uh, I didn't I've, I didn't even bring a picture of my son. Oh well. What? Um, no. Imagine but this, but just a little bit more hair up here. Actually, you know what? <laughs> just he's, a little he just bit. got my balding pattern uh, because no. the baby's losing hair. Um, he's got my balding pattern now. You know what? I'll have my wife. We'll tweet out a picture of it afterwards off of Twitter. Of it? Uh, but it's no, no. We like we have the same balding pattern. It's I I feel sorry. That's crazy. He'll get hair again, but only for so long that I'm going to I feel, yeah, I've got about, I, I think I got like two, three years left on this mane up top, and then it's just going to be gone. Like my grandfather before me and his grandfather before him. And the Jedis before them? Yes. Yeah, Mexican okay. Jedis. Yep. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode, Casey. Thank you, because I was going to make a terrible Obi-Wan joke. Uh, <laughs> so what you just listened to was uh, It Begins, Chapter 1, Part 1 yep. part of Part 3. So if you're brand new to We're Alive, the uh, chapters are sp uh, split into parts. Uh, sometimes kind of like they're episodes. Yeah, kind of like episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a great way to end on a cliffhanger. Uh, but thankfully, if you don't want to wait, you can always go to iTunes and listen to the podcast there, yep, yep. which is great. Just uh, search We're Live on iTunes and, uh, and you'll be, be able to follow. Thing. And yeah. yeah, and then you can still come back here for the live portion of the show every single week. Like I said, we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So uh, in that first episode, uh, I mean, that's kind of where we get re really introduced to uh, the first core characters that, that you're going to be hearing for quite a while. Um yeah, three characters. Okay. Three characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the one of the things that we do early on, especially with no, well, it could be four characters. One. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, okay, so we we have a lot of little little tidbits to, to talk about here, um, but one of the really cool things, uh, especially with 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 this first episode, was we had a lot of little trial and errors in terms of casting. Like we had some cast members uh, that uh, later on, actually, episodes I think. Once we get into chapter two, there was a, a character that was replaced, uh, and that character uh, is played by my wife, which she didn't audition at all. So originally, um, she wasn't a character at all in the show, but she was, in this first episode, that girl who was walking in the hall. But we had to replace her when she became a main character. Hey, Michael, are you going to the Omega party? And I have it for us. <laughs> oh, you have I it? I have it. You want to play it, it right now? I mean, uh, yeah, so I, uh, here's the original. Let's do it. Uh, the original, this is actually from the clean version that we stopped doing. because. So this, th what you're hearing now, what you heard at the beginning of the episode was the uh, actress that, th that was actually cast uh, to as a replacement. Because right, this yeah. is the original. This, yeah, the this original. is your wife. Yeah. So All right. this, is, this is a character that you might recognize later on coming in early. Hey, Michael, where are you going? Uh, class. Oh, did you study for the quiz today? No, not really. Well, neither did I. Yeah, well, all right. Hey, are you going to the Omega party this weekend? It's going to be so awesome. I thought you might want to go with... Uh, no, don't want to. But thanks, though. Why not? What, is it better to say, oh, okay, okay, maybe well another time? Jeez, well, fine. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. I was direct. How's that being a jerk? Once you're done... Uh... That's great. That um, is great. It's so funny to hear Blair in that role. I know. It's weird. But yeah, she was, because... She's really good. Because Blair is coming back. It, it might be confusing to people if this is the first time, but Blair is coming back as a main role, a yeah, main right. character in the series. So uh, if you're a fan of the show, it is definitely weird to hear her in that setting, uh, just talking to Michael. And she seems so upset that Michael was... <laughs> hey, Michael, what the hell? He was a real jerk right there. I, I gotta say, that whole scene is like was was written and based out of like when I got back from overseas mm -hmm. uh, from, from my tour of duty and I got back and there were so many rich, spoiled kids in my class that just like didn't give a crap about anything, just were obsessed with parties. So that was my commentary on that where it's like <laughs> that's the hard thing about soldiers coming back is adjusting to these, you know, people who... 
you, I, I spent all this time overseas for my education. Like I joined the army for for education, and you come back, and then people are just taking it for granted. Yeah. So that was the that was that commentary for it. I I definitely want to get back to that. Uh, but so let's let's go through uh the characters that we met in this episode. We we yes. met Michael, who you just heard, uh, there. But we also met uh Saul and Angel. Yes. So those are the three core characters. Uh, and we one of the things is for audio drama, some people don't realize this, but we. We introduce the characters very slowly so mm -hmm. that you can identify their voices. That's why there's not very many characters in the first episode because you have to slowly be able to recognize them as you go through. So that's a little behind the scenes thing is we have to, you know, one little one little character at a time. Yeah. And if there were too many, you'd just forget yeah, you, who's who. You'd, you'd be like, what? Who but is this? Is that, wait, was that the, the party girl? Is Michael going somewhere with the party girl now? I mean... Did he, he said no? He's not going to the party. Why is he going to the party girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know what? I was just gonna let you swim water. <laughs> down that spiral of whatever the hell you were talking Why about. Is Michael the party poor party Grayson. <laughs> oh, I don't need this now. I can. Poor, yeah. poor Grayson. Uh, so yeah, we we really got to introduce that. I really like how right from the very beginning you can already kind of see what's happening as far as like. Who who who's the real boss in the in the group? Because you know, Angel's just so like feeble. I feel he like he wants to be. He's like uh, he's sort of based after uh, uh, an officer that I dealt with, who was basically <laughs> like they think that if you get into a position of power, you automatically get respect, but that is not how it works. You have to earn it, and so it, officers tend to think like, oh, because I am technically higher than you, because yeah. the lowest <laughs> officer is technically higher in rank than one of the largest and highest ranked enlisted. So you could be like a, uh, uh, you know, like a sergeant first class, and a, a lowly O2 who's just out of school will be in charge of you. So that's a commentary of, you know, one of those things. It's military is very ingrained in the story in this. I like that you just described him as a lowly O2 <laughs> because there's also he uh, Angel yeah. also says you're just a lowly whatever your specialist. position is. You're just a lowly specialist. And I always thought like who the hell says lowly? That's, <laughs> that does make me like that makes me like Angel even less. Yeah. <laughs> That, it makes sense that you wrote this. It makes sense <laughs> that you wrote this. He technically is not in the same unit uh, as Michael and Saul for very long. He's brand new. Mm -hmm. So they haven't really known him for very long. I have a question. Is that typical with the Army? They, they get out of officer school, and then like a month later, they're in charge of their own yep. platoon? Or mm -hmm. I mean, that's weird. It is weird. And it's really weird if they go directly from school into the field over into a combat zone and oh, I ran no. into that and it's one of those things where like soldiers have to deal with that and so like all the things all the frustrations I had in the military I just kind of like pour into this thing I like that I like that I'm sure we'll find more of that as we go along so uh, after we get introduced the, to the the soldiers uh, we kind of find out a little bit more about the zombies as well kind of what they look like that they had uh, some bruising and bleeding around their bodies. Their eyes were kind of glazed over. That's something actually that I want to kind of point out because we get a lot of people who have listened to this first episode a lot and they're like, well, Michael describes this, this, the zombies in the freeway as like scarred and yeah. all these different things. And the people are like, well, if they've had scars, they've had scars for a long time. But re the reality of it is they were just uh, injured, not actual oh, like... Not right, scars in the sense of like, oh, they've been stitched up and they like had surgical scars, okay. nothing like that. It was one of those so things where it's, it's like, more I have wounds. Yes, yes, yes. Scars. yes. And it's one of those things that like, after I wrote it and come back to it, like two years later, people are still like nitpicking small little choices of words. And I'm oh, like, yeah. when we're like first started, it literally was just me in a, uh, like an office with Shane and we were just working on it. And then, so it was so small, like. I didn't know that we like millions of people listening to it later. We thought, well, you know, if you build it, they will come, so to speak. But, you know, nowadays it's like the first chapter is almost kind of hard to listen to because it's like yeah. we've written, Gotta I've written so much more forward. afterwards that like <laughs> I really wish I could go back and rewrite it. But right, no, what's well, there is it's there. It's kind of yeah. nice to see that transition though, because you you absolutely when, when you're listening to the podcast. I mean, when I first listened to this podcast, I mean, I was a huge fan, and so I like cooked through the whole. Uh, I think I started in season two. So I, I listened to two seasons straight through in like a week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I really put in some time and was just, 
not being a good worker because I was listening <laughs> to it on my break. I'm like, ah, I'm going to turn this 15 minute break and a 20 minute break. And, you know, two uh, chapters later. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> like, oh, God, I'm really late to my shift. Uh, so, yeah, it's it, it's nice to see that transition, though. It does get better. And I always tell people if you get to chapter 10, that's when we take off. Like, that's when we've completely cleared the runway. We're over in uncharted territory. That's where you're on board. I mean, the first couple, I'm all, like, I've listened to this episode probably a hundred <laughs> times at least in yeah. the past couple years at least. Um, yeah. Not even from the beginning. And it's just, it's just every time it's a little grating. But, right. yeah. But it's, you know, it's the start. You got to okay. go somewhere. Uh, and then going back to the zombies, uh, in this episode, we kind of, uh, we hear that maybe the zombies are attracted to sound and the, the guy honking his horn and then the alarm at the base. Uh, so I think slowly we'll start to piece together what these zombies are all about and, you know, what kind of like, what their things are. You know what I mean? Yeah. And one of the things also that's established really early on is that these are uh, not some shuffler. It's not yeah. slow place. Like... Literally, if you are out in the open, you are done. Yeah. And, like, the only way that Saul, Michael, and Angel really kind of survive this first initial onslaught, which is uh, basically is just decimates things. Browns, yeah. yeah, the only reason they were able to survive is because they went into, like, a really secure location for a long period of time. And then what happens after they get out? We'll find out the next episode. That's yeah, we'll find out next, next week. week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's yeah, it's that's exciting. It's it's exciting to piece together. I remember the first time I listened because uh, I've listened multiple times. Uh, <laughs> don't get it twisted. I'm a big fan. Uh, it's it's fun to start learning more things about the zombies and about you know the world that they're in. Uh, and and I remember thinking like I am so glad these zombies aren't like. No. Oh. Brains. It's so boring to me. It's so boring. These are my favorite type of zombies. These are where like the stakes are real. Like shit will go down. You will get your face beaten off if you don't like have a structure to hide behind or guns to blast these fools in the face. Yeah, you know what it's I mean? basically like if you're not in uh, a secure location, everything is red outside of even your secure locations. I mean. Red zone. Yeah. yeah. Dead zone. The red zone, dead zone. And actually, weirdly enough, um, that's something that we try not to say in the show, and you'll notice it, is the word zombie. Like, that is something that, because um, mo- a lot of people are like, they're truest, they're purists, they're like, um, are they uh, the, the, the dead reanimated? And yeah. so they'll get really nitpicky of the, the labeling of behind it. And technically, I think also the word zombie is so played out that they don't try to use it in any quote-unquote zombie media. I don't think they use it in, in that, that really mainstream show that everyone talks about that we won't mention. Um, well, we're not, we can't mention it? Okay, all right, that's fine. The well, walking we show, the walking the, show. The, the, you know. the pacing on living. Yeah. yeah the pacing <laughs> on living. It's pretty good, right? No, we, I'm sure we, the, we can say walking. The pacing. We, 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 we can. can I was just being... Can we just be yeah. bastards about it and just say the pacing on living? Yeah. Oh. The pacing... Well, we, yeah. we in the non, in the show non, we actually non living non living we knock on another TV show actually in we're alive too later on with <clears throat> found but that's that's coming oh up. that's good yeah. yeah yeah you know I just I, this is <laughs> that's what I appreciate about this in this world and and this intellectual property of we're alive is that the stakes are real unlike the pacing on living where there are certain <laughs> seasons of that thing that you're just like. If something doesn't happen, if they don't get the well, hell, we will just let them go. Yeah, I know. Just they don't even bother. <laughs> this is this is the shit. I can uh, reach you. You know, you know what? Th- your hands. They're cold, aren't uh, they? Speaking of undead, <laughs> don't ever touch my hand again. It is so cold. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm freezing in here. I I feel so bad whenever I grab my kid. He's like, ah, and I'm like, I know why. I'm sorry. And I'm like. What's wrong with you? I don't know. You need to get some gloves, man. Like permanent little gloves. Permanent <laughs> little gloves. Just, just get some of so that and shave. It takes a long way to go from the heart all the way to the little tip over there. <laughs> all right, so I want to get back to what you were saying earlier uh, about how you were in Iraq and kind of the, the way you thought of, like, when you came back, you had that, like, sense of, ah, these spoiled rich kids don't know. So, like, when you were over there, uh, is that, like, I've heard you kind of tell this before, Mm -hmm. but, you know, for our new audience, uh, is that where We're Alive started? It did. It did. did. Matter of fact, that'll be something we'll talk about the next time when uh, the next episode is 
the origin of the tower, where it actually came from. The mm. and I, maybe you know what, I might actually be able to pull some pictures of the original inspiration from Iraq. Dude, that'd be yes. pretty cool. I've never shared them before, and I I think it's enough past to where I don't want to worry about security concerns because it's been over at least ten years. So. Yeah. Declassified? Then totally declassified. Yeah, My security that clearance is gone. Probably, <laughs> that building's probably Two been seconds drunk. after we post those images, Casey's going to get black bagged, flown out. He's Can got, you he's imagine if you get black bagged in this studio, <laughs> though? If they come, if SEAL Team 6 comes in here and black bags this guy and gets him out of here, ratings! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not sharing the stuff that I'm not supposed to share. We're talking least. about click views, son. <laughs> you get this dude black click throughs. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, let's see here. Anything else from the episode? Oh, you know what? I do have something else to share. And it is the really poor artwork from the first yeah, eight this, chapters. I'm glad this artist got fired. Yes, uh, he really deserved to be fired. This, this art is just awful. Uh, I mean, no imagination. Yeah. Well, go uh, ahead. Go yeah, ahead and bring yeah, it up again. I'll explain a little bit of why it's so bad. <laughs> um, number one, we, we needed some sort of artwork for the show. So the entire time, like, I just used references of people I found on the internet and just made them, like, sort of zombies. I drew over them, basically. By the way, uh, the, artist, the artist is Casey. The artist was me. I had nobody working on, on art team, and I'm like, well, I'm making the website. I'm Whatever, I'll make the it art It was team. all you. Yeah, this was an independent project. Yeah, and actually, if you look at the girl with the peace sign, that is a direct a copy of my sister. I had her pose for it. She was like, what was that, 2009? So she probably was like, I think, 12 or 13 at the time. Like, pretty young. So she was uh, the inspiration for that girl. So, yeah. That's where all the art comes from. Yay! And let me say, that's actually... I could ever... <laughs> so, honestly, that's... In my vision, that that was great art. Oh, you know what? Funny thing about it was Greg Miller came on... Uh, when he first attached and, and saw the show, he's like, you got to change the artwork. And I'm like, just give it a few more chapters. <laughs> We did. It's it's there. We just you know we haven't gone back and the replaced the original is stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's legacy. It's it is what it is. Hey, you did what you had to do, and you did because it it. I mean, if you wouldn't have had that artwork, or if you would have done something different, maybe we wouldn't be sitting here right now. We'd probably be like two feet that way. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's a it's a full circle. <laughs> I can't. I cannot wait till we have actually the really good art from our uh, our artist Ben Hosack because that stuff is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like when he when he came on the scene and he like this drew right Datu yeah. for the first time. That right there. That um. Actually, you know what? We have a, a cut of that. That's our our other other unofficial logo that we uh, created. Uh, that is uh, shows a character in the series that we might experience later. Yeah. yeah look at this. Um, it's on my shirt. That's actually one of my favorite designs. It's sort of like a, uh, a retro graphic. Uh, that came much later, and that was made by the uh, Hutzpah design, which uh, amazing, amazing artist. Cool. So, yeah. So that nice. is the, I think that's the first episode. That, that is the first episode. Uh, and like I said, we'll be back next week to show the, uh, the second episode. Um, oh, oh, we, we got, got questions, questions from the chat. Oh, yeah. All right, let's, uh, cool. Yeah, we got oh. Rolo and Nightcat back there signaling. Nightcat's going to be, I think, our yeah. Our Nightcat is going to be uh, giving us some questions. So give it away, Nightcat. Okay, first off, Casey uh, Blair wants you to know that she actually texted you a picture of the baby. Oh, oh. we got phones. That's on great, the but they're on airport, airport mode. mode. <laughs> so, okay. um, so you know what? I will give my phone to Nightcat. Um, I'll slide it over I'm sure you to. Can. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she can't be seen. It's, it's it takes away the mystique. What? Yeah. I mean, why? Oh, I have it locked. It gives her no <laughs> no option to do anything. You can, you can right. just set it I down. Mean, why can't you? Game we'll tweet, game tweet over it over afterwards. Casey. We'll tweet it afterwards. Oh well. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next but, question. Uh, but uh, we have another question actually. So, uh, what was the explosion we heard in the class? Ooh, oh, good question. that's a great question. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like it was, yeah. Well, go ahead. Um, that was an accident. That was a car accident that had a very large explosion. People were starting to panic at that point. So right. somebody had run into something and it blew up. And gas, so gas tanker maybe. Yeah, like a gas tanker. Uh, it was. It was actually gas tankers wouldn't explode. It was. Um, I had a natural gas tanker. Yes. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it, I specifically wrote down what it was. But it was something. Um, is it? 
I don't, I don't think you'll see it in there. It just says explosion. Uh, but it was something natural. It was something like people were reacting to things going on. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, there was a lot more of that. As it, it, it elevates from there, and as they get to the unit, you hear more of it. Yeah. So it was sort of like the start of something. And also, one of the things that I think that was important was for Michael to identify it, because as a soldier, that's one of the things that you dealt with a lot was explosions. And that was something that uh, was like part of my PTSD coming back was when you had something that, that sounded or felt like it, it immediately drew you back and you're like, wait a minute, I'm on alert. And that's what happened with Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like the expert. Yeah, like, no, that's not, that's no not, construction. That's not construction. That's an actual like shockwave. Yeah, yeah. Space station. What'd you say? Mm, no, no. Just keep going. All right, Thank cool. You. Do we got any it's more no questions? No moon. <laughs> we do, actually. Um, will we be continuing apartment 2C uh, once lockdown begins? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be really fun. I'd, a lot of people that are attached to the project are amazing. Um, I, uh, all uh, of I, them. I, I don't know I why think they mean. Lot, I think they mean, will apartment 2C continue uh, once lockdown releases? And yeah, oh. we, we've, I mean, we're going to, hopefully, as long as we keep getting views and interest keeps building up for apartment 2c for this show yeah uh, i think yeah we're we're gonna continue this all the way through the whole series of we're live which is gonna be like what 144 episodes or something, something like that yeah it, uh we we have ex ideas to expand and yeah. make it bigger and um lockdown may or may not be the last we're alive story that is told so we'll see there may be more there may don't be another one after lockdown my heart like that and <coughs> the only thing that's gonna stop this show seriously yep is if Casey gets said, black no, bagged. No, no, that's not it. <laughs> why are we? All, why am I black bagged the all the time? The only thing that's gonna stop the show is if Grayson forgets the freaking Girl Scout cookies again. Because oh yeah, because you know that's that? that's the end of it. The big man needs his Girl Scout cookie. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we I think more, we got more questions. questions? Yeah, um, are we doing a giveaway and a quiz tonight? We are doing yes. a giveaway. Uh, so at the end. We'll, we, we'll we're going to yeah. do it at the end, but I am going to tease it real quick. So what we're going to be giving away is... Um, pull up da, my da, camera da, real quick da, so that you can see this bad boy. Um, it is a How to Draw Zombies book. It is an entire book on how to draw zombies, and it is very... Uh, very detailed, colorful, beautiful. The art in here is beautiful, <laughs> and you will also learn how to draw this art. So and it's signed by one of the cast members. Uh, his name is Otto Sturck. It's on the first page. Open the cover. Okay. I'm gonna... And oh, look at that. he's right a there. he's a character that shows up later in the series. So. Uh, uh, a pretty big character. Yeah, yeah and Otto, uh, Otto is an artist. He's amazing. And uh, maybe, he you didn't know make, what? He didn't make this book. A friend of his created the book, uh, and Otto donated these books to us. Yeah. We'll so, be letting you know how to win this uh, at the end of the episode. So tonight's stay, episode, yeah. Tonight's episode, so oh. stay with us. When Otto, if, if we get Otto on, because we have a lot of guests actually lined up, uh, Grayson will plug when they're coming on maybe you at bet. the end. He's, he's waiting for that. Yep. Um, uh, when he comes on, uh, if or when, he can also show up his artwork because he's an amazing oh, artist. Oh yeah, he's so good. Yeah. it's like incredible the stuff he does. I had no idea. He no, was yeah. Artist. And, and then it's, we started talking one day, and they started showing me his website, and I was like, "What the hell?" It's yeah. My, he's I mean, it's amazing. realistic, mm -hmm. and it's painting and pastels, and they look, re they're like hyper realistic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google, Google Otto, Otto uh, Sturk. Sturk. Otto Sturk's uh, S T U R C K E. Yeah, and yeah. then we'll of course give him a plug when, when we have him on. Uh, nah. <laughs> couple more. A uh, teacher has a question. Yes. <laughs> we have some. Uh, we have um, an audience member who really, really wants to have as much information as they can about the wallpaper. Where did you oh. get it? Why the wallpaper? <laughs> so <laughs> that will be revealed in a future so, episode. So the whole <laughs> point of Apartment Two C. Why are we called Apartment Two C? We didn't go over that really yet. We're called Apartment 2C because that is the apartment... That we're at right now. That we're at right now. You'll find out more about that later in the story, but we're supposed to be actually set in the story of We're Alive. Yeah, this this is uh, maybe looking a little bit forward in the episodes past the first one at least, but uh, you can imagine... You, you can assume they come yeah. across an apartment. Yeah, some, something something like this. This place will come... Well, right now... You're going to hear it at the very end of this episode. Is yeah. Go out better. with a bang! Yeah, go out with a bang. Yeah, Angel's going to try to get some. Uh, uh. Uh, so, that, I mean, you know, you can kind of 
take from that that that's where mm-hmm. they're headed and that's where we're currently located yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, and uh, yeah we're, we're currently monitoring we got video any... cameras making sure no infected are coming yeah. in our uh the parking garage is currently clear and yep. there's nobody in the hall so we're we're, we're cool. good right now good excellent and the wall oh specifically the wall oh yeah, yeah the wallpaper uh go? so i i we we built the set and we wanted it to make it look kind of old and a little kitschy and a little bit maybe spooky might be the right word and so yeah found this wallpaper slapped it on yeah it reminds me of the haunted mansion yeah it kind of does so the thanks for noticing and, and no hopefully doors. yeah and we'll be yeah. making changes to the set as we go like yeah. this is this is uh our starting block, and then we're yeah. just going to keep on building it's from there. Fully destructible. So, so let's go ahead and get into a segment that I am very excited about that you at home should be totally excited about, and that is uh, updates and news uh, from KC about We're Alive. That could be about any project about We're Alive. So, KC, <laughs> give us those sweet, juicy updates. Okay, well, oh, now, now the spotlight's on me. Okay, so we got, um, for those of you who are our Kickstarter backers, we had some updates come out uh, before this episode because we just yep. want to give you uh, the 4 one beforehand. Um, but we have some exciting news behind the scenes. Um, I have just, we're finalizing the details now, but I am currently uh, going to be represented by Paradigm Talent Agency. So, thank you. Yay! Thank you. Oh, oh, oh look at th- oh, let's take a minute. <laughs> let's <laughs> take, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Let's man. just oh, take geez. at that. Oh, that's the KC. You just so sexy. I just want to touch that head, shine it up real nice. You know how hard it is, man, and not make it look like a giant dome. Hey, it looks okay. really good. That's a, no, that's a really good. You look, it looks. Amazing. Oh yeah, it turned out great. Like that's, but that's one after a thousand shots. Dude, that so. that's the picture you use on the inside cover of your novel. Ooh, your oh, autobiography. You know yeah, it I actually really changed is. it on Google, so I use that. So okay, so what does that mean? So what is what is paradigm? Paradigm talent agency is uh, for people who work in the entertainment industry. It's how you get representation to go off and communicate with studios. It's how you can pitch projects to people. It's how you connect to everything. And one of the problems that I've had extensively over the years with We're Alive is how to contact an agent. We're not a book, so I don't have a manuscript they can read. We have scripts, but nobody wants to read a script. They want to like look at your portfolio and stuff. 4,800 pages of a yeah, script. Yeah, so they don't want to like look at all that stuff. So it's like, how do you make these connections? And so I've been str- I was struggling for years of how you can... Um, bridge the gap and finally find someone to make the connections with these bigger places and it turns out that like uh, it just happened to have that like uh, Fred uh, Greenpage who is from uh, uh, Radio Drama Revival he is very big in the audio drama space and they contacted him they said hey do you know anybody who might be interested in this project because Paradigm is actually specifically talking with me about another project that's going to follow apartment uh, I'm sorry, a par- follow lockdown. Um, and it's not We're Alive based. It's uh, attached with some really big name actors that I can't say yet, but I really want to. That's <laughs> um, going to be amazing. Some really, uh, someone else is writing it and I'm coming on and sort of being like uh, the audio drama showrunner in, in some regards of like line producing stuff, things like that. And But it's, it's so amazing to finally like make that connection. And because he referred me, they brought me in. I basically pitched to them what audio drama was and sort of like what we're doing here and they love it and uh it's going to do great things lockdown is actually um they're making some connections for lockdown distribution so we can have a distribution channel then and what we're doing is we're sort of like building uh like a foundation to be able to produce audio dramas on a regular basis and that's such a huge thing for us to do and because one of the things about lockdown is lockdown was great but it was fan funded Right. What do we do next? How do we? Because we don't want to fan fund every single project. We want to be able to like. Um, it it was. It was not only was it fan funded, but those funds were only just enough to to keep it alive. It's yes. not not a, any kind of living wage. It was just to keep the story going, to keep the production. Yeah. Alive. That that fifty thousand we raised <laughs> on Kickstarter. Um, I actually I don't think I get paid. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's very, it's very, a very, small, very, amount. very yeah. small amount, but it's yeah. like it was just enough to like just get the project started and running. And then because that was the idea is, is show that this is a uh, very good commodity. People want it. Mm-hmm. And because people supported us on Kickstarter, 
that other people started to notice. So it was like the first block that just is blooming into something big. So this is the beginning of yeah. your empire. The beginning, because the big thing is I'm creating an empire. We have another series that is uh, <laughs> that. He's not even trying to hide it now. No, I don't no, even know if no, they can see uh, that though. though. Even with the well, ten eighty hands, well, that's, a, that's all right. In, yeah. In, 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 yeah, it's hashtag TMN basically is what's up there, uh, which is the secret title of the next series that uh, very few to know people know. About. Hashtag TMM is that yep. what you said? Yeah, well, that's the stands for Tall um, Monkeys. That's it. Tall <laughs> Monkeys. Oh, that was really rough, huh? <laughs> Too bad this is a live show. We can't just redo that because, man, I would like to. Uh, I would like to take that back. <laughs> Edit it out and redo it completely, but it's we can't. <laughs> Nobody knows about it, but the the great thing is we're building the foundation to get the thing running because that's a huge series. Yeah, and it, what, we're alive was great, but we're alive was made on like shoestrings and string cheese because it was basically we made like we had very little money to make it. By the way, that makes a great salad, dude. I love string cheese. No shoestring oh. and string cheese salad. Oh my god. Shoestring noodles. No, no, it's just shoestrings. Okay. You don't and eat you don't eat shoestrings. <laughs> you don't eat shoestrings. Do. We're really gonna need to edit this live. <laughs> We're really gonna need to edit. Nightcat, I'm gonna need you to get on a machine that's gonna be able to reverse time. Okay? Especially when Grayson's on this set. Thank well, you. Hold on, hold Especially on. We got, when I'm talking. We got something uh, he does have some really cool info to give us. Oops, I just touched the mic, sorry. Uh, he does have some really good info to tell us about what's coming up oh, yes. in our show. This one. Uh, yeah. Uh, so for our next episode, uh, our first guest is going to be Elisa Elliott. Who is Elisa Elliott? You'll find out in the, the next episode. Next week's episode, we'll find out who that is. Yeah, well, that's a imagine, big deal. That's you, a big you deal. You can though. imagine there's probably some other people that the the soldiers find, and so they they might happen upon. A character. There are more people on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there will be more. Again, that, 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 again, that, that time machine is going to that time machine is really going to help. Yeah. Uh, the show. No. It's but, a, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So Lisa Elliott, uh, she is going to be on next week. And we have some exclusive stuff with her. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. It's going to be great. All right. Let's get into. Uh, we're going to be taking a couple more fan questions. So if you have any other fan questions that you'd like to ask, uh, Grayson, Casey, or myself. Uh, submit them right now because we only have a few minutes left. Uh, but right now, let's do the giveaway. All right, yeah. let's, uh, talk let's about let's, that. let's find out how the fans at home can win this super sweet uh, How to Draw a Zombie book. Now, you don't have to have any skills. This will literally tell you step by step on how to draw a zombie. So uh, you won't be sunken in the art world like Casey was when he first tried to draw that art. <laughs> if I can you had this book, uh, oh, totally different. I would have drawn over the cover sweet, of this book. No. Dude, it would have been <laughs> sweet. So, Grayson, you want to tell the people how to win this? Yeah. So, to win this wonderful book, all you have to do is between now and by the end of the coming Monday, so that'd be what, uh, February 6th, by the end of February 6th, leave us a comment in the bottom of this episode uh, in the comment section and just let us know what you thought about the show let us know did you like it did you not like it what would you like to see more uh how many high fives can you high five in a second i don't know just give us a comment let us know don't go too far you're attached to a microphone Yay! <laughs> and uh yeah just leave us a comment let us know and we'll pick a winner at random uh next week and we'll tell you at the end of next week's episode who yeah. wins the book and then we'll contact you of course and send you out that book. This and is one of our zero like entry contests. Yeah, take advantage of this because these two are concocting up some complicated giveaways. So this is a good one to enter. All you have to do is type a YouTube comment. Yeah, yeah. We'll have literally stuff. anything. Yeah, we'll have stuff from. You on could the type forums. in literally A N Y T H I N G. How are we coming on that time machine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, D streamer. So, it's only going. It's only going one direction at the moment. So uh, right again, if you want to win this book, leave us a comment in our YouTube channel, uh, and uh, we will be picking a winner. Make sure to submit it before Monday midnight PST Pacific Standard Time, just to give them like a cutoff date. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. Yeah. all of our contests I think will have the same cutoff, which like yeah. uh, Monday is the cutoff before Apartment Two C. Mm, yeah, I think that the zombie's name is Alice. I think she doesn't really appreciate. I think that's a guy. 
Uh, you can't really. You know what? I can't it's tell. A lot of At this see. point, who who cares? You know. Hey, don't, Casey, don't put that zombie in a box. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a non-binary like, that zombie. zombie can be whatever it wants. It can be transgender. All right, we've got some questions pouring in. Yes. We only have a few minutes left, so let's get to them. Uh, Nightcat with the questions. Nightcat. Okay, are you guys a team? Mm. You missed out. If you're asking that question, we were at Kamikaze in L.A. this past uh, Halloween weekend. But, oh, we will be last year. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween you, weekend. I know, but last oh, year. Yeah, I was, la no, yeah, last year. But we will be there again this coming year. Mm -hmm. And every year at San Diego Comic-Con, we do have our annual Friday at Fridays. So yeah. Friday night at Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, we meet up at Fridays. Yeah. I'm and a very important thing about that meetup is that you do not need a ticket for well, Comic-Con. Right. Yeah. It's just an event based around the area of Comic-Con. So anyone attending or anyone around the San Diego area can come and enjoy yeah. that 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 good time and it's totally free we might orient it like 2c this time Ooh. yeah Ooh. and then open it up for whatever cast members can come and things like that and yeah. i got i got comic-con passes do you have comic-con passes i got comic-con passes cool so we're gonna be there yeah sweet yeah yeah i'll be there cool yeah we'll see you there. that'll be fun yeah good sweet times. We might get some of our <laughs> other crew members there too. If uh, Night Cat and Rolo, you mean? They're gonna have uh, bags if they on their heads. Go, I don't you know. <laughs> no, they're gonna have to go. Uh, next question, Night Cat. Yeah. Um, are, any word on the complete box set for the original series? Oh, all four seasons. Uh, no. And the reason there's a really good reason behind this. Um, we don't have the box set done because nobody could do it right and no one could do it well. Um, all the options I was looking at, I was trying to get like a really cool notebook done with all the volumes inside. I was trying to do a nice tin, and everyone was like, no, those are too expensive uh, right now, blah, 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 blah. Give me a bunch of excuses. So until I can make it right, I'm not going to do it at all, because all four of them are out there. But I really, if I do a box set, it's going to have amazing special feature stuff, uh, lots of behind the scenes videos, and we really want to make it awesome. So um, it's one of those things we'll, we'll do eventually. I think, yeah. I think it's safe to say that we want to hold that anything we do to the standard that we've done so far. Yes. We, want, we don't want to release anything until it is ready and we think it is it's amazing good, yeah. for, for all of you. Because really, would it be worth it to like get a box set that had the exact same thing that you could have now in all four seasons? Not want that. No. I hate that. Yeah. Can I buy that? Like, if I'm getting the Blu-ray, I expect some special features. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. I don't want nowadays so like people. now Blu-rays is like no, there's a Blu-ray special edition, then the editor's edition, then the director's yeah. cut, and then like. And then the, the second assistant's best friend's cut. I don't even care if it's expensive. If I have to pay whatever I have to pay, just give me all the damn <laughs> And then they make the, like, the disc sets like oblong, weird shapes. So they don't fit on a shelf at all. And <laughs> Oh, I can't tell you. My OCD, yep. I know you're the same way. Mm -hmm. I just can't. I cannot handle it. Let's make it a box. Uh, let's get that next question in there. We got we got time for a couple more. Is there going to be any extra content in Apartment 2C? Possibly Foley? Oh, you want to do? Some, uh, we can do some. You know what? Um, I was thinking about doing a. Uh, some <laughs> that was good. For that was really there, good. there will we'll be some that. episodes that might be a little bit shorter than others. So some of those episodes, I might bring in some uh, sessions and show you what the session of We're Alive oh looks my. like, and then we could solo the tracks and show you kind of like yeah. break down what an actual episode is behind the scenes. It'd be really fun. I'm on this on this YouTube channel. If you go uh, to our YouTube channel right now. Uh, in the videos, you can see yeah. the documentary. And yeah. in that documentary, there's parts where you can see KC working some of the Foley uh, at the yep. at the stage. And so you can kind of see. But yeah, that would be great to bring some stuff. Yeah, and we have lots of video. We have lots of... Because we, we've videoed a lot of our recording sessions, but... I mean, how many of those clips can you really use uh, in like the, in the making of? We didn't yeah. use any of them, <laughs> yeah. so we'll we'll get some of the the really fun clips. Like I, I remember a couple exactly where you see the expressions on their face when they're performing. Yeah, something you always miss in the in the show, but it's it's kind of fun. Yeah. All right. Next question. Uh, Casey, are you going to be continuing Drive Home? Yeah. Uh, we just updated it recently. Uh, Star That's your, Wars. And your movie, oh, yeah, it's your sorry, movie review sorry. podcast uh, with your wife. It's all right. I got you. I got you. Uh, That's excellent hosting. Yeah. Right. Uh, so Drive Home is a podcast I run with my wife and I. We watch a movie and then we drive home. And as we're driving home, we'll review it. Um, we got a couple new episodes. Star Wars will be up there pretty soon. We have three viewings of Star Wars <laughs> that are rolled into one episode because I saw it three times because Blair was too pregnant to see it the first two. 
Um, selfish. I know. <laughs> so selfish. Couldn't sit in a reclining chair. I'm going to get it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that would have made a great story uh, for for your kid when he when he's older saying, oh, yeah, I saw Star Wars when it came out. Oh, yeah, no. She, you know what? The last, in the womb. The last movie our kids saw in the womb <laughs> oh, was man. The Good Dinosaur, and it was not worth it. I'm glad he stayed in there for that. Oh, The Good Dinosaur wasn't good? It was awful. That's sad. That looked good. See, I don't even have to listen to the podcast. So I just get it right here. <laughs> uh, okay, we got maybe one last more one? question, two more questions. Let's, let's, okay, last question. <laughs> okay, were the ads on the initial chapters real advertisements? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Or... No, they're real. They're very real, and you can still call the numbers. Uh, uh, if you do, you'll you'll end up getting Reef Systems Inc., Reef which Systems. is uh, for all your aquarium needs. You can go to uh, Reef Systems. I think it's seven one four seven five one fish. I will always plug them because that's my uncle's company. And the other company was my brother's. Uh, he does real estate management and sells homes and stuff, so we plugged him as well. And all these people actually gave us money to advertise on the show originally. <clears throat> so it's all my family just I, helping me. I really get think off the that that is really, though, like an honestly such a sweet thing that, like, you, I could just imagine you, you're young, you created this, this show, you didn't have a lot of help, you know, yeah. but, like, and this was really your baby, it was totally independent, and, like, you know, your family helped you get this yeah. off the ground. Like, and the fact that that's the commercial on your first episode, I don't know. It brings me like a bunch of warm fuzzies. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are, there are a couple fake advertisements that yeah. do come up. When they do, we'll let you know. Uh, but they're really obvious. Uh, obvious ones. Just to have fun. Yeah. Really. Um, at the, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, the advertisement. Oh, the other reason why they're there is because so that we could get advertisers, advertisers later on. Yeah. Because we had to have like something. So it's like, Oh, we do sell advertising space, so this way you know. That's helpful. Yeah. 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 All right. I think we're all done with questions. Yes. Okay. Nightcat's giving me the signal. Rolo is is doing one of these things. Like, get off the air, Tony. What the hell? We're already th seven minutes over. Oh, oh we don't fine. have a stop time. We don't have a stop time. Rolo, we don't have a stop time. Rolo, <laughs> get off my back. <laughs> it's at least an hour, but you know. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh. Girl Scout cookies and cut times. Don't. That's don't. And drinking shows. We're going to have a couple drinking shows yep. where we crack open a few beers. There's a bar right next to And door. We'll, there's do, a bar next we'll, have, we'll have a cue in the episode that once it happens, yep. we'll be back here. We might even, uh, we one of the things is we won't talk over the episodes because that's rude. Um, but you'll see us interacting with you guys in the background. And, and it'll be, be a, yeah, it'll be a game that you can take part in at home and, you know, drink every time. How many times? Michael it? says something. Yeah. yeah. How many times does it go to an Omega party? Or there you, you go. Zero. Zero. No but shots. Wait, we have a drinking show right totally now. Totally sober. That's actually a reverse game. The fewer he does. In, anyway. Yeah. Hey, how are he you coming along drunk. on that uh, that time machine? Are we we good? We're not not good. Okay, uh -oh. I'm getting a not good. Speaking of games, one other game, uh, we're gonna be playing kind of, or you're gonna be playing along with us, uh, is spot how many times. Casey is in the whole series. We're alive. We're and at one. We're alive. We're we are at already one. at one. You, one. Here's his voice. Yep. It is the teacher in the very first. Uh, oh, I thought I didn't think we were going to tell him. Oh. Well, that's who right. am I? Hey, well, that's great. Right. Who is he? He's I, right. We already mentioned it. Again, it's already no, live. Not yet. Not yet. No, we not mentioned it earlier in this episode. It's literally already live. It has already happened. Yeah. <laughs> we need to just move on. But from now on, you're not going to know. We're not going to say who it is. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of zombies. Um, the, actually, I you know what? I, I get that. All of the, most of the zombies in this one, the, yeah. that's all me. Like, I was the first. There goes that game. Cool. Hey. Excellent. Hey, well, Grayson, you know what? You try, to do, you try to do something nice. How about right, we don't We're going to wrap don't this count up. count the zombie noises is what I, I was saying because there's just too many. That's true. No, I, I'm, I'm on board with that. Okay. Uh, but who knows? Maybe at the end of the series, uh, unless there's information online about... We'll do a count. I, I did a we count We do a once, count, and maybe yeah. whoever gets the closest... We'll give yeah, them something. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Well, uh, like I said, we will be back uh, next week. That's... Uh, February 9th, correct? We'll be right here on on this YouTube channel at 7:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where you will get to hear "It Begins" Part Two. That's Chapter One, Part Two. 
Uh, and go go ahead and go to go to iTunes. Listen ahead. That's fine. Come back for the live show. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing way more giveaways with cool stuff like this. We've got a ton of swag. We're alive merchandise like the shirt I'm wearing. Uh, we've got tattoos. We've got bracelets, necklaces, sweatshirts. I mean, we've got all kinds of stuff to give away. We've got some other prizes coming down. So, uh, And also all the extra content and behind the scenes information that you'll be getting from different cast members, from KC, from Grayson. Uh, so we've, we've got a lot to offer from this show and we're really excited to be engaging with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and getting your questions in. That's yes, been, that was, that was really cool yeah. talking, talking yeah. to the community. This is great. And who knows what might happen. We might eventually have the ability to call in. That'd that would great. be cool. That'd be really cool. So we have ideas expand and make things bigger, but I think, hey, we got a three camera shoot for the first episode. No, I bet. What was that? That was a, yeah. Okay. Well, you got to be careful. <laughs> I, I, oh, was... audible.com. Uh, oh yeah, that you can also listen to us on audible.com. You can if you don't want to listen to podcasts and you want to get the whole series, you can get it in audiobook form on Amazon or the CD or sets. Or CD sets, yeah. Totally lots of options for you guys. Uh, yeah. all the proceeds that like if you do buy something from Amazon, the money goes directly back to us, uh, a portion of it. So it's it really goes and supports us. So And uh, if you want to contact us during the week, uh, Grayson uh, and Casey, what are your Twitter handles? Uh, mine is at Wayland, W A Y L A N D P R O D. Yep, and mine is at Anghil, A-N-G-H-I-L. Why is it so hard? Uh, it's my pretty much my whole online handle. You, Anything? Have the, you have the coolest name I've ever heard, Grayson Stone. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Anghil, <laughs> okay. At yeah, Waylon, at Anghil. And at Waylon Prode. At Waylon Prode? Production. Waylon Production. I got to help you guys out with your Twitter handles. Uh, mine's super complicated, at Tony Ray. That's my name. Uh... Follow us and, and send us send us your comments. I'd like to know what you guys thought, what you think we can change, yeah. and uh, and we'll be accepting fan art for next week. Where can they send in their fan art? Uh, they can send their fan art. Uh, just post it on our Facebook page, and we just might That's show super some simple. of it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll 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 have the details for that next week of where exactly to put it in. This is the first one, so next week's well fan art just so we can show it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll not not like a giveaway thing. Oh, but, okay, never mind. So we can show the fan art, post it to our Facebook page. At we're alive on Facebook, and uh, it, this is exciting. We did it. We did Yay, our first episode. First episode's Fantastic. Over. Big, <laughs> big thanks to uh, Grayson and Casey for coming on, uh, and Tony, of course, for oh, being our you, awesome thank host. You. I've got nothing else to do. I'm honored, calling I'm out, calling I'm honored out. to do it. I'm honored to do it. Very excited. And a big shout out to Rolo and Nightcat behind the scenes. Yay! Yeah, we did it. Now let's uh, let's go next door, have a drink at that bar that we're next to. Oh yeah, the uh, the, cherry, the cherry pit, the cherry, the cherry, cherry pit. place, the cherry pit. I want You know what? We might ever we might host an event there one day. Ooh, why not? It looks a little shady, <laughs> but you know what? That just I means they're gonna help us out. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't think that we're the type of uh, customers they're looking for. I don't have any they weapons have pool on me. They have tables. They have ping pong tables. They have beer. That's all you need. Well, that and a handful of criminals. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week at 7.30 p.m. right here. Peace. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.